In this video, I'm going to show you how to assign categories to your learning log post and also how to assign tags. They're kind of similar but different. And I'm going to suggest the best way for you to post to your learning log. First of all, as you know, we've created an example, an EdTech learning log example, and I'm here right now, and I'm logged in to my learning log. If you ever need to get to the administrative dashboard of your learning log, just type in wp-admin and that will take you to a sign-in screen and you'll be able to go to your dashboard directly. Now as you know, you can select categories and by now you should have added all of the categories to your learning log. And this is the first step. You'll also want to add widgets and this is dependent upon your theme and you might play around with different themes and decide which widget looks the best for you. But I went ahead and put a category widget over here and then I put the title AECT standards and you can select other options as well. You'll want to click Save and then I also dragged a tag cloud over and as you know all you have to do to drag any of these widgets over is just select them and then drag them over and you can move them up or down. So I dragged a tag cloud over and you can change the title here as well um, and depending upon how you tag your posts. So let's go back to the categories and look at those one more time. So again, you have your categories which you have set up in your learning log. And next, for your artifacts and much of your work, you're going to want to write this as a post you're going to want to write this on your post page. Whether you have your posts showing up on the front page of your learning log by default or if you create a static home page and have your blog posts page on another location, it doesn't matter. But you really should use the post feature to add your artifacts. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and write artifact sample and here's where you would add a link to your artifact, you'd write your reflection, and you'd post your information. As you can see over to the right is where you can select any of the standards. So let's say this meets standard one instructional systems design. Let's say it meets that standard and let's say it also meets standard four and subcategory 4.1. You can also add tags. Now instead of creating a separate page for each of your classes which could get rather messy and create a lot of navigation structure on your learning log that you may not want, you could add the course number for instance as a tag. So let's say this is from course number 502 and you separate tags with commas so if it was in another course which it wouldn't be you'd put a comma and then that but I'll go ahead and add that tag 502 also remember you can always save your draft without publishing it and always go back to it later before you publish it I'll go ahead and publish this now and let's look at what it looks like on our blog again to go to the front page of your blog just click the link up here at the top and we'll go ahead and go to Artifacts Reflections, which is the page, the blog post page. Your newest posts always show at the top, and here's the date, of course. And as you can see, here are the categories, 1.1. And as you can see, here it is. Now it'll show up in your category widget. So if you click that, this is going to pull up all of the blog posts that will be assigned this category. So it's a great way for you to index all of your artifacts. And then this tag is 502. Well, because we installed the tag cloud, the bigger the size of the font, that means the more 
blog posts that have been tagged that. But as we can see, you can have 502 and you can click that and that'll pull up everything that you have done in your 502 class. So this is just one of many ways that you can organize your stuff and you can tag it more than one thing. Let's say you are writing a reflection, whatever it is, but tagging it also the course number might be a good way for you to just instantly pull up and remember what you did in each of your courses. So again, I hope this helps you better understand the purpose of the categories, how you assign the category to a blog post, and how you assign a tag to a blog post, and also how you add the widget to the front page of your learning log, the category widget which you can change the name to AECT standards, and also the tag cloud widget. Thanks for viewing.